think I'm now more alert to this cafe. We have to raise more alert to the cafe to raise you. No good. No good. You're going to keep the damn cafe stuff. The board hasn't fucked that one up here. Definitely four trees as far as I know. Pick out. Callum Travers there. Still the scoreboard man hasn't registered that one. Ball going out towards the centre of the field. Well, broken down by one of the best players. Come on, Callum! Lovely ball over the top. Three out, two deep. Brian Quinn with it. And Gas Mayer. Four deep. Should be four and two here, but it's three two in the scoreboard. So, we have to watch that. That's that now by Bob in the pan, and the point has been run in the way here. Two points between the teams. Be that man, the the uh, the Owen Travers, to pick this one. Another two points too far, he's pretty accurate from trees. Just outside the 45 metre line. Chance to reduce the deficit. And just drive somewhat here to make sure he's ready. Well, how do you like these two? Excuse. And you, oh, how do you get on? Oh, it's on its way. It's got a tough chart here. Oh, 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 Five and seven were in different numbers as well here. Yeah, this is a real nightmare. Neil 
kick out Zach Sheptar. Possession will be the order of the day around the centre of the Players, if I called it wrong, but I'm only going to number, so I can do it with that. 
gentleman beside me here has told me all the different things. at their tails up at the moment. Shane McAleena now coming in feet. That's a great ball to the centre half. Ronan McEver. McEver back out. It comes here. Picked up now by the corner man, Tommy McEver. Tommy McEver to George Bourne. That's a great move. Back to Bourne. The shot. Oh, what a brilliant save by Jack Jeff Carr. A brilliant point down save Oh, what? 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 Oh, Oh, Great ball from Tommy down in towards the corner forward there. Ethan Devlin. Devlin, oh, that's a great turn from Devlin. Lays it in field to the centre half. A man, Toner. Toner has possession. The shot from Toner! It's third for the day. They land from Gas. That's their lead. It's from Gas. Not nine. It's on Ray. One four. A two point lead here for the from Gas men. He certainly dominated this last 10 minutes of this first half here, it has to be said. Kick out from Zach there, but he made a brilliant save there. That's Danny Rinsky there, she wants it to read it. Go left, go left. Yes, everything to play for here. Zach, Chef Carr. Out it comes from Zach Carr. Luke Robert is a captain of a wave, kicks up for free, and Luke wants to get in, he's very dangerous in the session. Luke wants to get in, he's very dangerous in the session. Picked up by Jack Kelly. Back in field. Jack Kelly. He's a long chunk and fall down into the club. Ryan Campbell. Ryan by stretch on here. We were in the near end of the time in this first half. We talked here, so I didn't pay it. No, Oh, 
the net minder. Callum Travers to pick the kick out here. Sends the ball away the far wing this time. Seems to look a little bit of but doesn't get it. From Gaffer, one protection once again. To stay from the net. Wayne McCandless still has a pass the ball. He's been protected. That's a good ball in now for Keelan Toner. Toner with a shot. Wide in this occasion. Leo takes a look at the watch. The count is very long left in this first half. And there indeed goes the half time whistle. So we take a look at the old scoreboard here. It tells us it's from Gath, not nine, and Rake, one five. So a very entertaining first half from Gath with a slender lead. They were four or five points down there, but they've come back well here. So we'll take a little break here and we'll go back with you in about 10, 15 minutes' time. Thank you. Of the football here at the moment. 
property from the ticket back out a bit. Five minutes, right? One over at 10 points. That's the end of this afternoon. It's double scores here in Lamo Hair Park. And if ever the team that needed an onion bag, they certainly need it now. That's Jack Dark. Short one out for the center of the field. From Jack to win it again, there was Bobby McGowan, Bobby with a pass. Here's one out of Kevin, the Kevin. That's how it comes to the midfield of Orrin McCampbell. First goal to the referee. We're going to award McQueen here. Oh, it's in 
towards the keeper. Come 
just got the better of the kingdom, but I have to say the mid phase performance from Gareth McAleen in a normal combat, and that man in the full forward line is picked 14 points on travel. It's from Gasco, but the kingdom will be back. For the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the county board, um, first of all, I'd like to thank Word Point um, for hosting the game today, and thank all the stewards and all the people that helped out. I'd like to thank Leo, our referee, and the uh, umpires and lines people too for doing a good job. Thank you very much. Um, to both teams, I'd just like to congratulate you on the standard of football that we've seen out today. It was excellent, and unfortunately there has to be a winner, but I'm really, really very proud of the display that you put off today. And I also too... Just before I congratulate the um, Drum Gap, I think it's very important on occasions like this that we thank all the mentors and all the people and the coaches that give up their time to coach you as boys and help you to be the best that you can. So I think it's an opportunity just to thank all the mentors and give them a big clap and all the coaches. <laughs> to Drum Gap, um, I sincerely want to congratulate you very much. Um, I have an excellent game, some great football and great scores. And um, I do believe that there's a wee bit of Leitrim blood in there too, in the McLean. So, <laughs> so listen, uh, uh, congratulations and well done again. And just ask your captain to come forward for the presentation, please. sponsor in Northern Switchgear for the new jerseys this year and as well as new trend tops just for the final so big round of applause for him. <laughs> uh, and also this was all done for Luke here today who suffered a knee injury he's been out all season so he's made a speedy recovery and he's lined out today so well done to Luke. I'd also like to thank all the parents as well for their commitment, leaving us out to training two or three times a week, running all over the country for us. And uh, obviously Barry, Paddy and Edge as well, they uh, wouldn't be here without them, down at the pitch uh, multiple times a week and they've been pushing us on out since we are running around the outside of the field in late November last year. And we'd like to give a big round of applause now. I'd also like to give a big round of applause to Anne Rake for the massive battle they gave us today. It wasn't easy, and as we knew, like when we were coming into the game. Okay, thank you. Well done. 